This program will be facilitated by the African Town Coalition. Number two, we require Korean merchants to participate in cultural sensitivity training to be facilitated by the African Town Coalition. This training will ensure that both of our communities, Korean and Black, will be able to coexist in an atmosphere of mutual respect, progress, and economic sustainability. And, oh, sorry. We have one more copy of the. Uh, Okay. Here you go. All right, thank you. I just thank you very much. Okay, number three, and at the end of that, that's back. Uh, number three, we require uh, Korean merchants to contribute to the Africa Town Coalition Breaking Bread with the People program. This program has been in operation for approximately one year and feeds the homeless people in the B community where Hubert's is located. Sorry, that's an error right there. Continuous double up right there. Okay, number four. We require Korean merchants to reinvest in the immediate communities where these businesses are located. Reinvest directly in the local black community by the directly sponsoring youth programs annually or uh, scholarship programs. We've already talked about that, so I won't uh, complete that one. Um, we also require uh, Korean merchants to initiate a hiring program for black employees in the communities in which they presently operate. And just to annotate that real quick, when you go to a lot of Korean businesses, you will find no black employees, period. You might find some Mexicans in the back cooking or whatever, but you do not find any black uh, employees. Okay, number six. We require Korean merchants to provide quality products and fair prices. A lot of times the prices in these stores are far above uh, just the general market uh, level, and so that, that's unacceptable. And number seven, we require Korean merchants to provide a consumer-friendly atmosphere. No locked doors or bulletproof counters. Eight, we require Korean merchants to inform customers of any and all health hazards posed by the products used or sold by their business. Nine, we require Korean merchants to speak English in the presence of customers at all times during business hours. Ten, we require Korean merchants to remove the pictures of people on the walls of their businesses who are being accused of allegedly stealing from the store. Right. All Korean businesses must have policies which accept the return of damaged goods. And number 14, we require Korean merchants to hold a town hall meeting within the next 30 days, hosted by the African Town Coalition, for the purpose of continual cultural understanding between Korean business owners and the local black communities they serve. This town hall meeting will address the problems concerning the Korean business and the local uh, black community. Okay, so we have, as you said, we've discussed some of these issues already. And there are some things that we have not discussed that you would like to uh, bring up at this particular time that would be uh, definitely <coughs> encouraged. Okay, so one, uh, which we haven't discussed before, we'll have to uh, talk with the uh, store owners or grocery organization right. or something like that. So these will be discussions we'll have. 